Bless you, God bless you on this triumphant Tuesday. I'm so thankful that God sent his son to give us an opportunity through him to live a victorious life through his sacrifice, his death, burial, and resurrection. And he's soon coming. It gives us the victory, amen. This is a victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. We're so glad that through Jesus we can triumph in his name, amen. You know, the Bible talks about healing, you know, and uh, deliverance. It talks about re reconciliation, redemption, and all these words of, of healing because God wants you whole, amen. He wants you whole, spirit, soul, and body. So I'm praying that your marriages, your relationships, your finances, your health, your mind, your emotions, your thoughts, your attitude will be made whole through what Jesus did in your communication, cooperation, and collaboration with the Canaan King. Amen. Communication, collaboration, and cooperation is so important in this day and age, especially with everything going on with all these uh, things that tempt us to uh, be fearful or, or to uh, be distracted from God's main thing, which is to bringing, bringing everybody on this people, planet, and the family of God. So I just want to encourage you today with the word you know, uh, Jesus showed us how important the three C's are, the communication, the collaboration, and the uh, cooperation in the garden where uh, he walked with Adam during the cool of the day and he planted him eastward in the garden, eastward in the garden because the sun rises in the east. He wanted the light to shine on him. He wanted to see that he, that he wanted to show Adam that he was in control of all the things that he was going to encounter in that garden and he gave him a job he said to dress and to keep that garden and it was up to him to to cooperate with the plans that the lord had for him and in doing so god gave him all authority to name the animals to uh to tend the uh the garden and ultimately to be the head of the family when he brought Eve out of his side and presented him presented her to him and it seemed like that the communication broke down because if you look if you look more into Genesis they wound up in the middle of the garden not eastward and they were tempted Eve was tempted who uh, by the serpent and co convinced Adam to rebel against the plan and the divine will of God. And because of that, there is a great fall. And we see in our lifetime, one of the most difficult um, things that we have to try to master is our ability to communicate it, it, it's so hard it's so easy to misunderstand and to miscommunicate and to take things out of context and not to clearly articulate what you are trying to present to one another and uh, God will give you the mind of Christ amen and he'll give you the ability to communicate, but you have to do your part, and that's by cooperating with his word, cooperating with his will, and talking to him, amen? Uh, 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 healing begins when you communicate and cooperate and collaborate with Jesus, amen? And then you see that healing also begins at the cross, amen? We love that song that says, what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the Lord, uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. That wholeness comes from what Jesus did. Amen. The Bible says in, in um, 1 Peter 2, 24, who himself bore our sins in his own body on that rolled rugged cross, that tree. 
that we having died to sins might live for righteousness by whose stripes we were healed. Amen. Those stripes, amen, that bleeding, that sacrifice, that willing yielding to the hands of the enemy tore skin from bone and, and, and tendon from flesh and he bled openly, naked, the most vulnerable way to die on that cross, the more sh most shameful way, disgraceful way to die, be tortured, produced healing for you and I, produced an ability to be made right in our sinful state through our yielding to what Jesus did. And through his sacrifice, we can be made whole, amen. By his stripes, the blood of Jesus washes away sin. It washes away guilt. It washes away disgrace. It washes away shame. He was put to shame so you wouldn't have to carry shame. He was disgraced so you wouldn't have to be walking around uh, disgraced. He was marred and battered and bruised so you wouldn't have to walk around carrying the burdens of the world in your heart and in your spirit. He paid a debt that we could not pay so we could walk in wholeness and we have to receive his sacrifice through our obedience and our yielding us giving up what we have in order to get what he has amen it's an exchange you we giving us our lives to him and him himself who bore jesus have mercy our sins in his own body on that tree he himself giving himself to us it's an exchange it's not an even exchange amen <laughs> amen he paid a debt that we could not pay and as we yield to him God would flood our lives with a brand new way of seeing what we're going through a brand new way of perceiving and, and navigating and managing our lives a brand new mind, a brand new spirit, a brand new identity. We are in the family of Christ when we give our life to Jesus. And, and, and healing, healing is spirit, soul, and body. Sometimes we need our attitudes change. Sometimes we need our thoughts change. Sometimes we have to wash our minds in the word of God to change our thoughts, to change our minds, to change our emotions, to change our will. Amen. Instead of saying, I won't do this. I won't do that. We just say, Lord, let me know your will and I will do what you want me to do. I will follow you. If you lead me, I will follow. And it's, 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 that, it's that obedience that we give to God that allows him to go into those places, into our hearts, into our minds, into our souls, into our business, amen, into our relationships and begins to, to, to put restoration and, and, and reconciliation and uh, renewal into our lives and it's through our relationship with the Lord that gives us that opportunity to really receive healing healing is more than physical although he wants to heal your body amen he wants you to walk and 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 not get weary he wants you to run and not get weary walk and not faint he wants you to live a victorious life in your body he wants you to 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 be in he uh, third john 2 says that he wills above all things that you would be 
in good health that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers so physically he wants you to be made whole and that healing begins when you receive what Jesus did for you on the cross he bore our sins in his own body on that tree and when we give our life to the Lord we die to our old man that we might live for righteousness so by his stripes we were healed and he wants to get down into our memory and give us a new mind so we won't keep on re, uh, re, reliving reliving those shameful, regretful, or those abusive and violent or, or, or hurtful and damaging things, amen, that, that keeps us in a place of perpetual, habitual sin, anger, malice, depression, suicidal ideation, homicidal ideation, or just the, 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 habitual, the habitual pattern of just going around and around and around, taking two steps forward and nine steps back. He breaks that pattern, amen, when we yield to the spirit of the living God, amen. And your emotions, our emotions have to be tamed by the Holy Spirit through the blood of Jesus Christ. He will breathe into you his spirit. He will fill you to overflowing, and then the Bible said that out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah, a living water that will revive your spirit and tell your emotions to calm down and settle down, no matter what it feels like, looks like, sounds like, tastes like, smells like, no matter how it how they act like. We are going to trust in the Lord. Glory to God. Healing, deliverance, power, hallelujah, is found in the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that blood has not lost its power. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I used to think about the blood of Jesus. And I was like, Lord, you're going to have to bathe me in your blood because I am so sinful. I am so mean. I'm so nasty. I'm so hateful. I'm so uh, 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 vengeful. I'm so uh, uh, just a degradation, just degradation, just, 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 I used to love fighting and, and causing trouble. I used to love just, just, just the, the acts of sin. Amen. I used to love it. I used to, uh, 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 uh revel in it hallelujah and i thought man god you're gonna have to you're gonna have to just baptize me in a in a river of your blood but now since i've uh, I, i've been walking with the lord god has has shared with me all it takes is one drop hallelujah one drop of his blood to completely change lives just one drop. I said just one touch from God will change your life completely. You will go from drug dealing to soul winning from the guttermost to the uttermost. He will lift you high. Hallelujah. As you lift him high, he will lift you high because he is high and lifted up. Hallelujah. And he will raise you up and clean you up so good you won't even look like what you've been through. Hallelujah. Abuse. Hallelujah. Abandonment. Abhorrent sins. Anger. Violence. Addiction. He will clean you up and make you new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That it'll be such a stark contrast of what you've been through. Your friends, your old friends, those old acquaintances will ask you, what in the world happened to you? And you will become a testimony of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. It's the goodness of the Lord that leads to repentance. Hallelujah. And we, we want to please God because we want to. Not that we have to. It's because God's been so good to us that we want to make sure we please God. 
Hallelujah. And I am praying for the health and the healing of your life and everything that has to do with you, whether it's mental, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, whether it's your thoughts, whether it's your business, whether it's your relationships, that God will get in and work behind the scenes and he will show you, he will show you who you are in him and show you how big he is and how able he is to handle what you're trying to handle yourself. And I just pray that you just give it to God. He will never let you down. He will never let you go. But he will always mold and shape you to bring you to a place that you've never been. And you have to go out. You have to seek him with all your heart. You have to be diligent. Diligently seeking him like a pirate seeks a buried treasure. Hallelujah. You want him to be the first thing on your mind when you wake up. And the last thing on your mind when you go to sleep. And when you're faithful in that little, God will open up your life to wholeness, spirit, soul, and body. And I'm praying that wholeness over your life right now. We are loosening the angels right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We are loosening your anointing, Lord. We are pleading the blood of Jesus that your blood will prevail over all attacks. That you would, that your blood, Lord Jesus, would wash your people's minds right now from the dirt, distractions, and denigration of this world. In the name of Jesus, we bless your name, Lord, for your holy word. We believe your word, Lord Jesus. We hang on to your unchanging hand, and we ask you to be lifted up above all the issues of our life. We ask you to come into our life, Lord, and change our life for the rest of our life. Lord, we're open ourselves for healing, Lord, breaking generational curses. Lord, we were we were molested. We were we were abused, Lord. We were abandoned, Lord Jesus. We were we were did wrong, Lord. We give it to you, Lord, because we know in your word it says what credit is it when we are beaten for our own faults? And we take it patiently. But when we do good and suffer and take it patiently, it is commendable before you, O oh God. Hallelujah. And we know, Lord Jesus, that we have not suffered in vain. We know that greater that is the end of the thing and then the beginning. And we celebrate you because you've brought us a mighty long way. Without you, we can do nothing. And we thank you, Father, for being our all in all, Heavenly Father. We bless your name for bringing, for allowing your Son to come and bleed and die for us, to be resurrected and ascend. Hallelujah. And we know he's coming back, Lord. And we ask you to prepare our lives, prepare our hearts, prepare our minds, prepare our spirits for that time. And we're asking you to not only let us let it be pleasing and let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be pleasing in your sight. Oh, Lord, our God, our Savior. Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, that you would help us, Lord, be an example to those that are here, Lord, that we would be able to stand in the gap, Lord, and that you would give us words of wisdom, words of knowledge, Lord, that we can share with those in trouble and that you would be so merciful and kind and compassionate to come down and heal their lives like you are healing our lives, Lord. And we'll be sure to give you all the glory and all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this triumphant Tuesday. And we thank you for the victory of the cross, the empty grave. We thank you for your sacrifice, Lord. We thank you for all that you're doing in our life, Lord. We give you all the glory and all the honor today. We love you, Lord. Thank you for making us better. In the name of Jesus, thank you for making us better. For drawing us closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen.
if you can hear any of these songs that has been playing on this uh, video, I do not own any rights of this video, uh, the music, and I just, it ministers to me, so I just kept it on. Praise God. Love you guys. Thank you for your prayers. Bye-bye. Jesus' name.